My name is Amir Ali. We are in my house in London. I was born in Tehran. I was there up until high school, then I moved to Toronto. I finished my studies in architecture, but before making that decision, I was also considering to study music. Uh, but that, of course, never happened. After living in Canada for about 10 years, I moved to London to finish my studies. And uh, in the middle of my final year, I got my first album deal. And for that, I toured straight for three years. Once we signed it, my career took off. I toured non-stop for three years for that album. After that three years, I took a break because I wanted to come up with new material. I felt like I need to reset and work out what I want to do next creatively. While working on that, I started putting out music on my own label, Dark Matters. Music from myself and some of the artists that I've worked closely with during the past couple of years. For me, it was pure joy to hear that I was invited to do this collaboration with Tom Halling Zurich. My name is uh, Pierre Buckman. I am uh, the creative lead for the Tunnel Light event, and I've been having this role for the past uh, five years. Tunnel Light was uh, originally founded to bring classical music to young people, but very quickly they realized this is actually a chance to create something unique. So from the very start, the artists that were selected were not just local DJs, but uh, international, world-renowned electronic dance music artists. I always had this dream to work with like you know other like professional musicians where you can combine electronic and classical music. Six months ago I started like thinking about what we're gonna do, how I'm gonna do it and what kind of instruments we want to have and I started like putting together the music that we wanted to have in the concert. My name is Jakob Eismar. I'm mainly a film music composer. Currently studying at the ZHDK, but I'm also an audio engineer, a sound designer, and I do lots of other stuff like game audio design. I got introduced to the arranger, Jacob, who's a great guy, super talented. So we started working together, passing each other like ideas, you know. What I really, really liked about the working process with Amirali, and I also told him this a couple of times, that he was very, very open and happy with the first draft I did. I was always like, okay, this is the first draft, I'm gonna do this and this and this and this, and he was like, yeah, this is fine already, and it was like, oh wow. Obviously, me and Jacob, we had different views and perspectives, that's why it made it interesting, but at the same time, we were compatible. <laughs> I'm used to work with directors which are like, hmm, let me think about this. <laughs> and he was like, yeah man, this is cool, let's do this. We want to go over the intro today, which is piano and... With yep. I just told him that maybe you could join the intro as well. That would be great. But he would have to give you a score to do Because he has to do the score. Yeah.
If you want to do something new or interesting, so you have to go back to where you were, where it all started. So I wasn't really worried about like, oh, what's going to happen if I'm not there. I basically tried to learn as much as I could for the second album. And yeah, I mean, I can see the difference myself in the music that I'm making right now. We want to create art. We want to create something new that sort of has a, has a value, is, is, has a timeless value even. That should be the way if you want to do something different or new, like you have to try to push yourself and challenge yourself, learn new things and just change your setup, change your environment. I see my role as a sort of in a guidance role, uh, trying to have the overall vision for the event, the needs of the guests, uh, the collaboration between the visual artists and him uh, in alignment. So this is the challenges we have, we discuss. Uh, but with him, what's really cool is because his goal is create something musically interesting. So he's always open for dialogue because he also likes to challenge himself and his views of how he looks at music. So next thing is the uh, resurrected tiles. Yeah, I certainly feel he takes the event quite serious. Uh, maybe less so in terms of I need to prove myself here, but be really acknowledging that this is a next step for him as an artist. Uh, he wants to evolve, you know, he wants to experiment, he wants to try new things, push boundaries. So I think he sees this as a chance to do that. For me, it's not just about partying, traveling and having a good time. Although traveling is not always easy and fun and it can actually be very tough on you at times but I also feel the need to have some alone time so I can nourish my creativity and come up with the music I'm happy with. I always don't uh, judge musicians based on technical things. I always judge musicians on how they emotionally feel their music or if they just aim for something that's not in any way connected to what they're doing. And when I see Amiral's work, it's very much connected to his way of being as a human. You don't have many of these evenings in your life and I really want Amirali to, to feel himself as a musician tonight, to enjoy the show and stand now on that fundament that we built these three days in rehearsing. And yeah, so my job now shifts from being the critique to you guys are doing great and hopefully I manage to do that. Just, we're just getting ready for the show. We're about to leave now. I was just doing the final preparations on the set and uh, ready to go. My main job was to imagine how something with classical musicians could get the people dancey or could get them see his music in a completely new way. I kind of knew like it's going to be a great show because for tonight we worked so hard and it's been, well in total it's been about six months and with Jacob we started like three months ago so lots of work but it pays off. Yeah.